everything on our store. You can download the free sample lesson. So before you buy the curriculum, of course, you need to download the sample, make sure it's going to work for you, make sure you, you can resonate with, with everything else. But give us just a little bit here about Bible Heroes. This is the first series that you gave us, um, and it's been super popular. Actually, it's one of our best-selling curriculums, and it kind of came out of nowhere. Um, last fall, particularly around Halloween, people said, hey, I want my kids to, to do Bible Heroes in the fall. And so tell us kind of the big idea behind Bible Heroes when you first wrote it. I think there's, it's not anything new. You hear a lot about Bible Heroes. Uh, you can Google all sorts of books and information on them. But what I really wanted to focus on is there aren't really Bible heroes. There aren't these morally upstanding, wonderful people that we can base our lives on. There's only God. He is the only true hero of the Bible. And when you look at all of these stories, when you look at Ruth and David and Moses and all of them, they all relied on the Lord. Everything that they did in their lives goes back to the working of God. They could not be the people they were without God intervening in their lives. And I think that's a good reminder for us, us that we can never be good enough or strong enough or have any sort of superpower on our own to save ourselves or make our lives good. We always have to return to the Lord. Absolutely, so you sent me the proposal and like, that's like the first thing you said, the true hero behind all the well-known characters is God. Um, so I appreciate that. What do you think about, um, there's a tendency in, in children's ministry to make uh, moral heroes out of moral, uh, not, not moral heroes, but moral lessons out of different Bible stories. So um, I think we're all guilty of this a little bit. You know, Joshua, be strong and courageous. So children, be strong and courageous. How do you combat that? I think it's one thing to tell somebody, oh, Joshua was strong and courageous. We ought to be strong and courageous as well. But Joshua was told by the Lord, and that's one I'm working on right now, actually. He was told by the Lord to be strong and courageous because he is not strong and courageous. Joshua could do nothing without the strength of the Lord. And it's clear through his story, uh, the fall of Jericho, for example, they didn't just go in and overrun and by the might of Joshua and the Israelites overtake the city. It was very clearly an act of God that the walls fell. They fell down flat and they were easily able to go into the city and overrun them. That was not something that you know the Israelites just camping out could have done on their own. And I think it's important for us to remember that all these heroes of faith, their faith was in the God that could do it for them. It wasn't through their own strength at all. I think it's easy to sometimes overlook their character flaws. And I think in looking at their flaws, we're able to see ourselves more. And it makes them more relatable, honestly, when we kind of take them down off that pedestal. That's great. And actually, we're um, I'm brainstorming now. I'm always trying to brainstorm new lesson series and I'm um, helping my my uh, my middle school son. Micah is helping me with some of these and he just he just loves this idea of a cracked egg. <laughs> I don't know why. And he says, Dad, that's like a perfect example of like like a big smashed cracked egg on the floor of your kitchen. That's like what we are before Christ. And like he said, isn't there, could we make a Bible series about just being cracked and how Jesus is the only one that can restore us? And I'm like, you know what? That's that great. kid's hurt something somewhere. <laughs> or maybe he's, yeah, seen, that's good. maybe he's seen his dad sin enough that he's like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's great. Well, if you guys are interested in Bible Heroes, definitely it's on the website, but then uh, on the main side, there's a uh, download the free lesson sample. So you guys download the free lesson sample if you haven't already and uh, get to know this a little bit more. And Tara, I'm excited for the sequels to this coming soon. You mentioned one, but then we have a couple others in the works too. So we'll save that for later.